There, do a little outdoor cooking finally. It's only almost Labor Day. Uh, let me get my lifter. I know those are hot. Well, let's start over here on the old barrel here. We got a pork loin smoking coming along nicely. And I like the barrel because it you get more smoke, you don't burn it. It's 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 cooking it, but it's I mean I may have to go over there with it after a while. Where there's a little more heat. And uh well I guess I can use my knife. I'm not sure where I put my pot lifter right at the moment. This one here. I do have another little piece of pork in there. And we got onions, potatoes, sausage gravy, chives, and some sage. Oh yeah, that's coming along nicely. Good ways to cook. I put tin foil in because I get to not watching these and I cook my pot down. I'll get the pot lifter. And this one here, I was squirrel hunting this morning and I managed to get three squirrels. And a couple of them are older squirrels, so they're getting a parboil. And once they're boiled to the point where they're kind of tender, I'm going to take them out of there. And I'll move my frying pan over here. I was going to do it on my little gas stove. Then I said, nah, I just use the same one. And anyway, when some stuff gets moving along here, I'll try and bring you back. Just an update. I'm getting the frying pan ready to brown up the squirrels in. The, this here is coming nicely, it's starting to cook down, thicken up, tenderize. The tenderloin, I mean, that's going to be good. You know, that's at this point, and I'd say it's probably half done at this point. Those are just green chives and a mesquite rub I put on it, and those are fresh garden chives to. I don't know if they give it any flavor, but it'll look better. Now for the squirrel, I usually don't use the green tomato. But I said, I wonder what that'd be like to use that as, uh, see what kind of flavor it adds in there. I have some seasoning salt right now. And pepper on them. And they've been parboiled. I'm just kind of taken apart. I fry the rib cages. There's a little bit of meat on them. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I, I take it. You know, the rest is legs and stuff like that. Okay, those are done. And that's how I usually cook squirrels, is to parboil them. And then cut them up into pieces. Or cut them up into pieces and parboil them. And then I brown them in a frying pan, usually with just a little seasoning. A little Texas peats or hot sauce Texas peats on them. And that one's coming nicely. I gotta get better pot holders for outdoor cooking. And that one, the, the, everything's tender in it, so I think that one's done. This one I just put a couple sticks in to raise the heat. And that's coming nicely, looking beautiful. You can see, I've, I've liked the barrel. I did that a few years ago. I just saw a hole in the bottom of an old barrel, cut the top off, put a rack on it. And sometimes I take and I put a rod across and let like a piece of chicken hang down in. But you got to be careful because the fat will really get going in it. Anyway, i probably give one more final roundup. Maybe a taste test, I don't know. There. The pork loin is done. And uh, I'm going to take it off in there. See where I cut into it, let the smoke and stuff get in there. That's all that is. But it is, uh, I guess I should have cut that piece a little smaller. I'm going to do a taste test here. I'm going to have punky off in the brush for just a minute. I'm going to cut that down to more something to fit in my mouth. Well, I can do better than that. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Nice, mild smoke. I used a mesquite rub and that's all really in some chives I don't really taste the chives but that is really good well thanks for watching the squirrel came out very good that is really good too 
And green tomatoes, I don't think really did much of anything in there. They're good if you get a piece of it to eat. And that is probably about done too. It, it's going to cool some before I eat it. Thanks for watching. I know this will be a cast iron Monday or a Labor Day or Sloppy Sunday or whatever. Or we might do something with it. Thanks for watching.